I mean, it's, it's crazy, the, the new norm um, as, we, as we know it. Um, I think we, we feel safe. Uh, I think the staff and the players have been responsible with sanitizing, you know, keeping themselves clean and social distancing with each other. Obviously, it's a little different. Everybody has their own room. So, I mean, we can't be out a lot. So, I mean, we, we try to take advantage of the game room a little bit. Obviously, there's only six people that can be in there. So, I mean, a lot of us play video games and, you know, pass the time. I mean, the days go go by fast. Sometimes they're long, but, you know, overall, you know, I think the team's done well for, for each other. Speaking of that, how has the medical team prepared you guys, both, both back in Houston and here, to be ready and, you know, uh, as healthy as possible? Yeah, I mean, I think from the Zoom calls that, that we had before starting the full group trainings to the full team trainings, you know, they've done a very good job of, being super strict on us of, you know, for not doing things right. And, and I think all credit to them. I mean, you, you guys see that, you know, we haven't had any negative tests, um, thankfully. Um, so we continue to do the same thing and follow the protocols. We're going to be in, in good shape. Let's look at now on the field here in Orlando. How have you all adapted to the conditions at the training center and just on the field here in Orlando? Good. I think it, uh, it's, it benefits us in, in a way. We know that Houston's hot and and Orlando here is hot as well. It might be a little bit more humid here, but you know the, the you can't beat the the Houston heat. So I think it's going to be pretty easy um, to transition and adapt um, to the weather here, and hopefully, um, you know, we take advantage of that during the games. Yeah, I mean it's super exciting. We we all want to compete. You know, we all want to win. I think our team was well prepared. I think the coaching staff did a very good job in keeping us fit. Even though in Houston, you know, the individual trainings were, were bad in the mornings for the sun. But, you know, I think that's pre prepared us to the point we are at today. And I think we're ready for, for Monday and ready to compete. And, you know, we're ready to try to win it all if possible. How does the team, how does the team approach a team like LASU? Yeah, we know they, they're a very good team. I think we, we have one of the toughest groups in, in the tournament. So we, we're going to take every game as a final. Uh, we know that every team has um, talented, quality players that you know can make a difference. But we're going to do everything we can, you know, to get the three points and, and keep and keep advancing in the tournament. What's your message to the fans walking back home in Houston? You know, I hope I hope everybody's healthy and safe. Um, just know that we're going to give it our all and, and and try to win this tournament for the, for the city and for the fans who, you know, obviously want to be in the stadiums, you know, cheering us on. But we're going to do our best to bring back the trophy. Yeah, good. I mean, I've been keeping up with them. Obviously, um, we're part of the same organization, um, so they have some ballers on the team. I mean, obviously, our, the two Houston teams, Houston Dynamo and the Dash, are, are the underdogs. So to be able to be recognized by the dash, you know, they're, you know, they're flying. Um, obviously, they didn't get the result they wanted the last game, but, you know, they're, they're bringing that national spectators, you know, hey, this dash team really can play. And I, and I think that's all credit to the girls. And, and obviously, James, I know he's prepared them well for, for the tournament and wishing them all the best of luck. And, and hopefully, you know, they advance to the next round.